Skyworks is a um, basically like a cloud-based pro program, uh, software program, yeah. Um, and I don't have the pricing or anything on that yet. I'm going down the truth <clears throat> probably tomorrow or Thursday to take a look at it um, to see how it works. And, um, and they've, they've been using it for a couple of years, so and their systems are there. Carl, I'd just like to say, if you didn't go down there, right? Like, if you can wait maybe until Friday or Monday, I'd like to go out and take a look at it. So, okay. Thank I think it would be interesting to see yeah. how, how you carry through the permit file from, you know, NEIC through right through the township. I think it's a great idea. And I think it'd be, again, with the paper, paper list and then, you know, scan the files right through and then just print out a permit. Yeah. Because I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait till next week. The only other thing with the CDP project is the uh, bathrooms here and the senior room and the preschool. Um, the, the senior room one, or the, I'm sorry, the, the bathrooms thing is pretty much ready to go. Um, they are, the county is, as of yesterday, sent us the things they needed estimates and descriptions for the preschool and senior room by tomorrow. So, Gary and I work on them, mostly Gary, um, and they're done. So they have what they need to, to submit that project. That's all I have. Um, have they said anything about uh, home rehab? I'm still working on it, but there is money left. So yeah, the, the, the estimate for this came in well under. So there's money for the home rehab. Uh, all right. Uh, Department of uh, Reports. Police Department report is attached. Uh, roads report. Uh, Stanley's not here tonight, but I did speak with him. Uh, the road department has been working on filling potholes on different dirt roads, uh, cleaning ditches, getting ready for the winter. Um, they've also been working up on the new uh, garage, uh, getting that ready. Um, There's still a few more projects that they have to do before the weather gets cold, fixing a catch basin here and there. Uh, they are getting the trucks ready, uh, winterized for snow plowing, which probably will be here before you know it. Uh, we've stocked up with salt and cinders, we're ready to go. Uh, and uh, we still have some more work to do on the garage, the new garage, and I'll let Brian address that been overseeing the construction. We still have to get the furnace in so we have heat, and then that's probably about it. I'm really ready to move in, but Brian, correct me if I'm wrong. Right, yeah, that's about where we're at. We just finished up uh, the outside of the pool. Uh, when I got back, I got it cut in and set the two buildings back together, and then just finished up inside the pool room. Set some toilets in the vanities. Uh, we're waiting on couple of numbers for the heat. Uh, and basically that's really anything else we can do we can do while we're there. Uh, but it, you know it, it's coming right along. And um, as you can see there's a motion uh, on the agenda tonight to put the uh, old current existing garage up for sale. We're just about ready uh, to move once we get the furnace in up in the new garage we'll be able to move in up there and move everything in. So it's time to uh, advertise it and uh, we'll open bids uh, in November. Um, so that's moving along. Uh, I guess all that I really have as far as the road report. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Brian, do you, do you have anything? No. And Planning Commission reports attached. The Zoning Officers report is also attached. Uh, the Administrative reports. Secretary Treasurer report, uh, financial report, and the bill was attached to the uh, minutes uh, along with the agenda tonight. Uh, supervisor reports. Uh, Brian, do you have anything further? No, I pretty much addressed everything that we uh, talked about. The only thing I had was for, I just wanted to make it public about the, uh, the court hearing for next week. Rick had sent us a, an email 
saying there's a date for the October 28th at 9.30, I think he had said. I just wanted to make that public out there so that they, the public knew where the meetings were yeah, and the hearing was. Is that by Zoom or in person? Or <laughs> That's going to be part of my report, but it'll be live in the court. Okay. Um, uh, anything else, Brian? No, that'll be it. All right. Uh, Steve is not here. Um, uh, I don't have anything further that I've already reported on uh, as far as uh, what's been going on with the roads and getting ready for winter and then the garage. So we'll move on to the solicitor's report, Rick. So I have two things tonight. Uh, one is uh, the justice development, as uh, Brian just uh, mentioned, the, there is a uh, week Friday, October 28th, 9 a.m., Judge Nealon will be hearing argument in this courtroom on the uh, appeal of justice development to the uh, denial of the curative amendments that they had filed by the Board of Supervisors. So uh, briefs are already submitted. I circulated copies of all briefs uh, to the Board, so that is open to the public. Uh, second thing is uh, today Carl and I were in court on the final hearing for the Cleese, Andrew Cleese enforcement proceeding. This is the enforcement proceeding for the property that's located at the corner of uh, Lakeland Drive and Schoolside Drive. It's been ongoing since, uh, well, quite some time. It's been in court since, since early this year, uh, and it's finally concluded. I'm pleased to say that we were successful in defending our uh, position. His appeal was dismissed by the court, and now the uh, Two fines, two separate matters that were instituted by Magistrate McGraw of $1,000 each plus cost will now stand, and Carl plans to uh, continue to cite once a week until the property is finally cleaned up. I will note that he did make substantial efforts in cleanup of the property, and that was likely because the property had been put up for auction uh, and sold at auction, and then that sale fell through. But notwithstanding, there's still things that need to be done up there. Not a lot of things, but some things. And Carl, starting this week, will continue to cite uh, both property owners um, every week until the matter is, is cleaned up. So we're just going to keep piling the citations on top of the citations. He's already over $2,000 in fines. And that's all I have. All right, Rick, thanks. Uh, Thank you, Rick. Yes, sir. There's no correspondence that needs to be uh, acted on tonight. Uh, we'll move on to motions. We need a motion to pay the November payroll. I'll, I'll make, make that motion. motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We need a motion to pay the general fund and state fund bills as presented. Is there a motion? I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we need a motion to approve the financial reports as presented. I'll, I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we need a motion to approve the advertisement for a request for bids for the purchase of the township garage. Bids to be open at the November meeting. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, finally, uh, I'll make a motion to accept the resignation of Jan Ward from the Scott Township Sioux Authority, uh, effective immediately. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, and we need a motion to approve the Russian subdivision, which was uh, as presented, which we previously went over earlier in the meeting. Is there a I'll motion? Make that. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, last order of business is public comment. Does anyone have any general public comment um, for the board? Yes. Um, I wanted to ask about the township's ordinances regarding junkyards and junk vehicles on property. What, um, okay, what's your question? Uh, do you have such an ordinance? We do have an ordinance. And can you speak for you kind of what it entails? Very involved, um, and, it, and I mean, you have to look at what the facts are to see if it fits within the terms of the ordinance. If you have a situation that you think you would like remedies, yes, I uh, do. The best thing that I could suggest is that you contact Mr. Farrell. Okay, and Mr. Explain Farrell, to him. I'm Sally Muncho. I told you three times last week, left messages at various times, you got no re reply. Okay, so if you want to give me the address, I will take a look at it. 
I live at 11 Apple Tree Lane, and this is 29 Apple Tree Lane. Is, is that is it two cars parked on the side of the yeah, road? Yes, so I saw that. As I'm going to say, it was perfectly and spitefully placed in front of our property. This is a family thing, right? No, it's not. I don't. I don't have any in, any relation to any of these people. I'm new to this township. I just moved here two years ago. Do you know that, that the cars are registered and? Um, how could they be? They have no windshield. Their tires are flat. I have pictures if you'd like to see it. I have evidence of the day that the tipster placed them there, and it was done when we were outside working on French drain, and it was spiteful, done by a neighbor, for no circumstance other than to be spiteful. Well, we have an ordinance, and it would, it, it would probably, it will definitely yeah. be addressed. Do you also have an ordinance regarding junkyard? Same, yeah, same one. Is there a variance for a junkyard in Scott Township? No. no. All right, does anybody have a junkyard in Scott Township? A permit for a <laughs> Okay, so as I understand it, a junkyard, if one did have a variance, it's supposed to have an enclosure surrounding the junk so that nobody can see it. However, I'm living next to a junkyard, and I can see it very visibly, and so can any other house in the area. There's also a transfer station taking place with sanitation trucks coming in and out and dropping. And I would like this to be looked into by our officers. Yeah, I didn't know if I should call the police. I did call Mr. Coro. He said he's responsible for permits and zoning. And like I said, three times at various times, I called at 10:12 at 4:30 p.m. I called 10:13 at 9 a.m. and I called at 10:14 to 30 a.m. Left messages with my name, number. Said Mr. Coro, would you please return my call? Because you don't ask for details, and I won't give them because I believe that it should be discussed face to face or person to person. And I would like to know why my call was not returned. I have a lot of phone calls, so I, I, I apologize. If I it's been you. over five days. It was a weekend. Yesterday was Monday. It's not unreasonable. I get a lot of phone calls. So what is the uh, time for it? He'll, he'll investigate your complaint. I'll be here to find Okay. Uh, does anyone have uh, uh, anything else? I have another question. Regarding research for revenge, is there a decibel limit for that? We have no noise ordinance in the township. You don't? No. I thought I read that you did. We don't have a noise ordinance. Okay. So how about for bars and things like that? We don't music? have a noise ordinance. In the no, no noise for music or anything? Time no. limit for anything? Okay. Now, wasn't there something in the zoning ordinance? Uh, it's uh, ridiculous. 50, 50 decibels of using the walking way test at various times of the day. Check your network times over a 24 hour period and averaged out. So would never qualify because it's only open at night, so you have to check it during the day when there's zero noise, so you're not uh, meeting. So that's, yeah. Does anybody have a desk phone meter? Yes, but we don't have, have noise ever, ordinance, so it doesn't really matter. So you don't have an ordinance for it? No. Has anybody complained about the noise coming from there? Not in several years. Not in several years. I can hear it up on Micro Road. Clearly, people screaming, and uh, it's a little bit disturbing. Makes my dogs bark sometimes. My last six weeks. So. I guess it's a money maker for the township because you're selling parking lot space? Not really. We don't make any money out of it. They do know they have about fifty thousand dollars in community group stuff, so you know there is that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, anything else? Sir? Sorry. Would the township be able to give me some more information on the skeet shooting range up behind the uh, Side drive. Private yeah. property, they, we, they go up to the group of guys that were like, that's a leaking issue. I know you had a party this weekend, so there's, there's a, there's a, a, a set up like a professional ski shooting range. And uh, last week, they shot several days from morning to night. I just was wondering, is this a business, place of business? No, it's just personal, it's private property. and he, the equipment shoot, they shoot laborers normally as once a week. Um, I know that they did have, they did have a group up there Saturday, and I think they're up there Tuesday. So. They were up there Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. 
but it was it started from morning till night. Is that uh, acceptable? You don't have any regulation on no. on uh, in private uh, shooting on someone's property. Routinely, it's one night a week. Correct. Okay. Routinely, it's one night. Last week yeah. was excessive. I understand. Um, yeah, from morning till night. He had a group there on Saturday. I mean, is there you know, Well, even once a week at ski shooting race, is that is, is this a place of business or is it is not? It's, it's private property. And it might just rent them. But they shoot from, like I said, the crack of dawn usually, like in the morning till night. Um, I know um, the lady asked about a noise ordinance. She said they don't have one, but is that is that a reasonable? I, I know there's no noise ordinance, but is it reasonable to accept gunshots going out? Um, you know, they go off every every few seconds. It's not like every minute. It's three gunshots every few seconds all day. Is that is that reasonable? We can't regulate it. We don't have any way to regulate it. There is no ordinance that, that or state law that regulates either one of those. So, so, the, so there's a, so the speed shooting range is allowed. It, it was permitted to be allowed. It's on private property. It's a private range.
he came up and around behind where we were. And an animal, in fact, did run across, but it looked more mangy than rabbit. So the officer went over to the next house, which is the so-called house I told you about. They hopped on quads, began chasing the animal. The officer got a, was it an AR-15? He got an AR-15 and started walking the field, pursuing this animal, which was near our home, two other homes. We're all about an acre here. Then he went across the driveway, down the way, where there's also two homes very close to this meadow, and he discharged gunfire twice. Now, there's no warning to anybody in the area at first that there was a possible wild animal that you might need to get into the house, even though it didn't come near us or want to pursue us. You know, nor was there any warning to anybody that uh, the officer had a gun and was going to be discharging gunfire. So I want to know if that's standard procedure. Because if I had had children out there, Playing, and the little boy that lived at the house on our drive, he's often down in the meadow. There are children, there are animals, pet animals, there are elderly people who are out, and nothing was done to ensure that people would be safe when he was firing this weapon. Any minute. And I don't know if it ever was caught. Do you guys have any information on that? I wasn't aware of the incident. And it just, it, the whole thing just seemed like a, a fiasco. And it frightened me that any day, any time I'm out in my garden, an officer could come down with a firearm and start shooting because he's pursuing a so-called rabbit animal. Well, um, Talk to the police department about it. I don't know anything about uh, the complaint. Would that be in the officer's report? Uh, they may not have filled out that much. Don't they you may... think if an officer fires a gun that it should be reported? To whom? The chief? The top? The note? The chief may know about it. Uh, we... I, don't, I don't know. It just seems very odd to me. I've lived in a lot of areas, and I've never seen anything like that happen before. They put wounded animals down for the team. It wasn't yeah. a wounded animal. I know. I'm just saying that, you know. Yeah, I was just going to mention, like, if a deer gets hit on the road. It wasn't the case for that. He was in this suit. The number two was people on foot chasing him. He was on foot. Do they have weapons on the foot? Yeah. But he was on foot. But the problem I saw was that he was so near property line without telling any of these people that he was And the officer was on a quad? No, no, he was on foot. I just said that. Two other people were on quad chasing the animal. This is the first I'm hearing of it, too. Well, okay, good. Maybe you could look into it for us. I definitely will. Thank you. Uh, anyone have anything further? All right, if nobody has anything further, then a motion's in order to uh, adjourn the meeting. I'll make the motion. Is there a second? I'll second it, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.
we've had personal issues like Larry's well, his mother in law and his friend's dog and just just crazy stuff. And it's like anytime we're out, it's crazy. And I keep telling Larry, ignore it, they're not gonna do anything else. And every time I say something, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, we're gonna sell our property. We don't know exactly the date, but you can't do that. Do you know what our friend said when they came by? Well, actually, it was somebody we never met before. Yeah, I know. I know it's not the same. I am just too fast. You know, I don't want to be all your friends. You know, it's half oral, half summer. And it is a problem. That's why I mentioned the police on the other. They do, but they should have a title and they should have windshields. I know. I'm sure they aren't going to put it like there. Well, I said to Larry, I said, don't get angry. He has had pictures of it actually occurring. I said, don't get angry. Don't say a word. We'll look into it. I know that. 